From beer to glass is a logical jump, but it's some very special glass we've come to see, together with some of the more interesting aspects of modern glass manufacture. If you've got openly hostile neighbours, for example, you'll be interested in the armour plate type, which is produced by a sudden cooling of the two surfaces, setting up internal stresses. These can be seen when inspected by polarised light. Notice how they seem to change shape, rather like oil patterns, as the glass is turned. Not many people stand on their windows, admittedly, but if they did, it's reassuring to know that with this toughened glass, they would at least live to tell the tale. Expert James Holt weighs 14 and a half stone, but in fact this quarter-inch armour plate will support two and a half hundredweight. With glass as tough as this, it seems incredible that anything as apparently delicate as curtains can be made from glass, but they are, of course, from glass fibre. Fancy having to ask the window cleaner to wash the curtains, too. Returning to the more traditional forms of glass, another simple test of strength is carried out with a steel ball dropped, in this case on ordinary plate glass, from various heights. As you can see, from the three feet mark, the ball shatters untreated glass into umpteen dangerous fragments. Try it sometime, see for yourself. With the toughened glass, only a quarter of an inch thick, the test starts at three feet with little effect. The drops are repeated at five and seven feet, and the glass eventually breaks up at ten feet, but then it disintegrates rather than shatters. Thanks to the ingenuity of modern scientists, we're approaching the stage when people who live in glass houses will at last be able to throw stones. Mm -hmm.